Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three squares, this yellow one, blue one, and this pink one. They are stacked up together, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, big green square is leaning on them in such a way that uh, these corners of all these uh, squares uh, on the side of this uh, green square and furthermore uh, this uh, blue square is wedged under this uh, green square as you can see as well and just keep in your mind that the area of this uh, yellow square is a nine unit square and the area for this blue square is uh, four and finally the area for this uh, pink square is uh, one and now our task is to find the area of this uh, big green square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that we are dealing with all the, these squares. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow square. Its area has been given to us as uh, 9. So therefore, by using this uh, formula, its side lengths are going to be 3 on this side and this 3 on this side, so that if we take a square of 3, it's going to give us uh, 9 and now let's focus on this uh, blue square its area is uh, 4 therefore its side lengths are going to be 2 and uh, 2 since 2 times 2 is going to give us uh, 4 and finally let's focus on this uh, pink square its area has been given to us as 1 so therefore its side lengths are going to be 1 and 1 if we multiply them, we are going to get uh, 1. And now we can see that this uh, whole uh, side length of this uh, yellow square is uh, 3 units. Whereas uh, the side length of this uh, blue square is uh, 2. Therefore, this side length has got to be 3 minus 2. That means this side length is uh, one unit and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green square now let me go ahead and label its side length of this uh, green square this side is uh, lowercase s and likewise this uh, side length is uh, s likewise this is s and uh, s across the board then the area of this uh, green square is going to be simply if we square that thing that is going to give us uh, s square therefore the area of this uh, green square is going to be equal to s square and now we are going to find the value of uh, s and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this line all the way over here such that this angle is uh, 90 degrees and here's our much nicer looking diagram and as a result we get this uh, right triangle abc let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, bigger triangle uh, as a uh, uppercase b and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle let me call this uh, triangle as uh, uppercase s and now let's go ahead and compare these true triangles b and uh, s we know all these angles are uh, 90 degrees and moreover this angle is uh, congruent to this angle since they are corresponding angles and moreover this angle is congruent to this angle since they are corresponding angles as well so therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangle this triangle s and this triangle b are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem 
And now we know that this whole side length AB is going to be equal to this side length 1 plus this side length is 2 and this side length is 3. If we add this one, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is going to give us 6. So therefore this side length AB turns out to be 6 units. And we don't know this uh, side length BC. Let me go ahead and call this side length uh, X. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles, so therefore we are going to have uh, proportions. So therefore the ratio of this 1 and 2 to the side length, uh, let me go ahead and write down 1 divided by 2 is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, x and this uh, 6. Let me go ahead and write down x divided by 6. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get 2x equal to 6. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our x value this one turns out to be 3 units. So therefore our this x value turns out to be 3 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC and we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, C. I'm gonna call uh, this uh, side A and this side B. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case uh, is uh, 3. So this is going to become uh, 3 square plus uh, B in our case is uh, 6. So this is going to be 6 square equal to C in our case is this lowercase s. So this is going to be S square. Let's go ahead and simplify. 3 square is going to give us 9 plus 6 square is 36 equal to s square. So therefore our s square value turns out to be 45 square units. And now we know that this uh, s square represents the area of this uh, green square. So therefore the area of this green square turns out to be 45 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 45 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.